Man from the Checkmate Arcade video game podcast, and here with the uh, getting ready to start chapter three of Vampire. So let's jump into it here. Uh, if you remember last time at the end of chapter two, things didn't go exactly as I planned when I mesmerized um, the main person at the end of chapter two. Uh, yeah, that totally was not what I wanted to happen, so it kind of sucks, because it's made that one district very close to being in really rough shape, and that's not what I wanted, so have to face the consequences. I follow a couple of uh, YouTubers that are doing videos on this game, and it seems like uh, Chapter 3 will take us back to the uh, Dock District. So, um, that seems to be where we're going. So, the other thing is, I, I still have not found the medicine to fix headaches and things of that nature. I've not gotten that... The ability to fix all that. I don't know where you're supposed to get those plans from. I cannot find those anywhere. Alright, you can see, yeah, I'm level 12, but I am, you know, still under leveled and I will continue to be as I try not to. As I try not to kill anyone. All right, let's see here. Can I improve any of the weapons? All right, weapons, here's my sword. All right, we're level three on it. Okay, I can, it is level three. I can increase, decrease stamina. Oh, I already did the stamina thing. Okay, level four. Yeah, okay, I I remember reading the good handle parts. You don't get those until you get to the highfalutin west end, so... Okay. Alright, so I can't improve that. Let's check the gun. Okay, yeah, we, we shrunk the reload time. Uh, yes, I can upgrade this. Okay. Let's upgrade it. And let's see here. Oh, we can go one more. Uh, I can increase the damage. Or what's the decrease... Increase the reload. Uh, so what? Oh, that's that's a thirty point bump. And I don't know if it's worth eight points. I think I'd rather shrink the seconds. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Okay, the uh, their stake. Oh, man, I need one more tiny. Oh, that's so frustrating. Maybe one of the people here will have it. Has a parry. I don't want to... Nah, I don't want to do that yet. Okay, I have all kinds of stuff to... Alright, uh, chapter 4 is where you can find the stuff for that plant I found. So, let's go... Let's go to the health here. He still has a headache, which I can't fix yet. Alright, let's see here. I know we need a fatigue. So, I know we need that. 
And he has a migraine. He has a migraine, which I haven't... I don't have the medicine for you. I don't have any of the head medicine. You see how close they are to critical. Ugh. All right, so I need to make a fatigue. So let's make a fatigue. Yes, I have enough stuff. Ah. Okay, let's go talk to the doctor. Ian Edgar, could I get your professional opinion? Please speak, but I have something important to tell you. This strain of flu, it's very different from the one I saw in Europe. It's downright peculiar. Really? And what makes you say that? I've just looked at the blood of one of our recently deceased. I see. Do you have anything more to go on? This disease spreads and looks like the Spanish flu, but its effects differ greatly. The London strain is different from the continental one. This is very interesting. Did you find something else? Mm. Yes. Unlike the flu, the infected begin to show an increase in outwardly aggressive behavior. More than simple agitation, once docile people become violent. You mean like rabies? Is there a chance we could create a vaccine, Jonathan, like Pasteur? By the stove, that would be smashing. There's a lot we're not seeing here, but it is spreading, and quickly. If we don't act, the whole city could be lost. But Jonathan, we've a fantastic opportunity sitting right here in front of us. A weapon of choice. What on earth do you mean? Why you, my dear boy? With your expertise and your blood, we could isolate the properties that course through your veins. Think about the possibilities. What in the world? Three hints locked. Ugh. But the risk of infection using vampire blood could compound the situation. I know, but your blood now carries remarkable regenerative properties. With our minds and your blood, there's nothing we couldn't cure. We'll discuss this more later. Thank you for your time. No, thank you, Jonathan. But as I said, I needed to talk to you. I have some rather bad news. Yes? I'm afraid it's your sister. My sister? She's to be buried this evening at Whitechapel Cemetery. Your mother published the obituary this morning. I see. I'm sorry, Jonathan. Please accept my condolences. Ten Mary's funeral. Mm. Stone Bridge. Okay, we gotta go back to. 
Okay, so we gotta go over here. Well, what was an unknown event happened in Whitechapel? Okay. Okay, so here's all these. That's the... Yeah, that's the other one that is also in the... Uh, do I go to Whitechapel? I guess let's go ahead. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. I never thought I would have to attend my murdered sister's funeral. Mary, I can't forgive myself. I'll find the truth about what happened to us. Another night with the I swear. Battalion of Pembroke. Right. Good evening, Milton. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Doctor Reed. A reliable. Milton shotgun. Common trigger. Is it tiny common handle? Tiny common handle. Is that what I'm needing? Forgot what I need to. Yes, tiny common handle. That's what I'm needing. Good evening, Milt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. I'd like to see your wise choice, Doctor Reed. All right. Let's go check with the other guy. Okay, yeah, shut up. It's locked, all right. Do I go ahead and go this way? Or do I go... Or do I go to Whitechapel? Alright, let's see what this unknown event is, because that's driving me crazy. Can I place marker? Yeah. Yeah. Let's find out what this unknown event is because it's driving me crazy.
Okay. The hideout was over there. her Good evening Mr. Petrusk I will ask you the exact same question Mr. Doctor Now leave me alone Okay. Are you living on the And why not? Those who believe they'll be safe behind. What about your house? My house is always open to any poor soul needing a roof. All my work here is lost now that Dorothea is gone, thanks to you. Why are you? I remember the night you came here and come. Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. What do you plan to do now that Nurse Crane is gone? I'm not sure. Strange men came to see me after Dorothea's death with strange weapons and very odd stories. What kind of stories? Stories all Romanian children know. As if I was home again. Vampires, Mr. Doctor. Vampires. You believe them? Aren't you too old to hold a weapon or listen to scary stories? Yes, I am old and alone and will die soon, but if these stories are true, <sighs> maybe I have found myself another cause. Great. Goodbye, Mr. Petrescu. Death is all around us. Okay. Ah, it's up here, that's right. I wish I had just told her to quit now. I didn't know Mesmerize would do something. Ah, uh, damn it.
Hello, whoever just came in. How are you doing tonight? Alright, let's see if I can take these guys now. Alright, they're 14. I feel better about this. Ah, shit! I... It's Mary Beth. Oh, hey, Mary Beth. Uh, so I'm in chapter three here. So, you know, slight spoilers if you're going to want to um, play this game. So, vampires drink blood. Oh, what a shock. <laughs> So, we are playing Vampire here. We are a doctor turned vampire in Victorian London. And we're trying to solve the Spanish flu and figure out who turned us into a vampire. That's, that's the game in 30 seconds. All right. I screwed up at the end of chapter two. I mesmerized somebody instead of uh, blackmailing them. And now that person I think is dead. It looks like so. I think I messed up the achievement. I was trying to go for the nobody dies achievement and I'm betting that messed it up. So we're about to go see Sounds interesting. Yeah, it is. Uh, the combat is a little tough to get used to. Um, it's it's very European. It's very witchery. I finished Detroit. Did you play that? No, I haven't started Detroit yet. I I, I got started on this. I don't know. I I need to play through a little bit more of this, and then I'll get to Detroit. But it, it, it's on the agenda. Oh, can I unlock it's this locked. now? No. Okay. All right. Let's see here. All right. I need to. I need to turn around this way. Get some stuff. Get some stuff. All right. I'm so sorry. Do to do to do. Serious. Serious, and then Dorothy Crane's dispensary. Oh, I I died. Yep, you did. Cool music. Yeah, it does have a great soundtrack. That is that is definitely for sure. Oh, more dudes. Alright, come on. Oh. oh shoot! Didn't see that one. Ah, this dude can teleport. Oh! Ah, dang it. So are those vampire zombies? Yeah, essentially, yes. Ah, dang it! Ah! Ah, oh, dang it. Resist stun. Great. 
Ah, dang it. Ah, come on. Ah, dang it. All right, die. Give me your I stuff. Would absolutely suck at this. <laughs> yeah, I, it definitely takes some getting used to. Um, like I said, being a veteran of The Witcher helps, but it's been so long since I played Witcher that um, I'm struggling a bit with this. Or, I, I get it. Since I haven't played it in a couple of nights, I struggle. Oh, crap. She is level 24. Oh, crap. Alright, let's try this. I don't know how this is going to work. Oh, holy crap. Crap. We are getting out of here. She can freaking one-hit me. Run! Ah! Oh boy. Okay. Uh, let's go with blood. Uh, let's heal. Okay, so what does the map say now? <laughs> Any unknown event happened. Yeah, she turned into a flipping vampire. Uh. Alright, well that door unlocked. I need some rats. So I'm almost out of blood. Uh, dang it. Uh, dang it, dang it, dang it. All right, which way am I going? I guess this way. Yeah. Here's this guy. Let's see if he has anything to do. Something, sir. You never lose. Uh, right then. Show me what you have. Ring. He's got the. Well, those are too expensive. Okay. Nope. All right. Oh, well, let's go. Oh, rats! I can't believe I'm doing this. You get used to that line, Mary Beth. I have this thirst for blood. It says like the same lines every time you do that, so. This is despicable. Yeah, you know, whatever. I'm trying not to eat humans, okay? I'm trying to go all angel here. Note angel, not angelus. All right, th where? There you are. I can't believe I'm doing this. All right. All right. Well, let's continue with the story here then, because I cannot beat Dorothy if she is double my level and can one hit me. Yeah, can't can't do it. No, sir, can't do anything about it. So All right. is there a choice to make him good or bad? A choice to what?
Yes, I hear that noise. That creature's level 18. So to I can't... make the character good or bad. Uh, yes. So, um, let me show you here. So, here are all the NPCs that you meet in the game. Uh, this is the district we just were, kind of the poor district, Whitechapel. And then here's all the people in the uh, hospital, which is our, which is like the hub. This is where you start Chapter 2 at, and it's kind of your main hub. And this is the dock district where you start the game. But, um, as you can see, you haven't met many people there yet. And this is Richie Rich District that I uh, haven't been to yet. And you'll notice on the people here, they have blood quality, XP. If they are, and you see the, the mind, the, the, the symbol with the head and the hand. If your mesmerize level is greater than or equal to their, that's their mesmerize resistance. Basically at any point you can mesmerize them, lead them into a dark alley and eat them. And you get however much XP that they're worth. Now, the more quests you do and the more hints you unlock about them, that increases the amount of XP that they give you. And there's no difficulty level in the game. Because the more people, NPCs like this you eat, the easier the game becomes. Because this is the easiest way to get XP. Like, doing quests and stuff give you a few hundred XP, but, like, let's look at, like, this dude. Like, this dude is almost 2,000 XP. She's, like, 3,000. And, like, eventually, like, if you can take the down, if you can eat the pillar of the community, it's 6,000. But, see, here's the problem. As more people die, the health of the district goes down. So, you can see the the hospital is almost a hundred percent sanitized because everybody's pretty healthy oh yeah people can get sick that which is what that symbol is so you can cure them of whatever ails them and now increase the amount of xp and up this meter so the more people that die eventually the district will go hostile and then it'll be creatures everywhere. You'll be combat in that area the entire time. And all the side quests will disappear. You'll notice in the poor district where we were just at, it was Siri it was in the high part of Sirius to almost stable. But because of the choice I made at the end of chapter two, it went all the way down to almost critical. Like it's not at critical yet, but it's close. The only reason it's not at critical is because I cured a bunch of the people up here. Uh, that's the only one I didn't cure because I don't have the medicine to fix all the head issues yet. So that's kind of the choice, pull, and push of the game. It's easier if you eat everybody, you'll get a bunch of XP and you'll get super powerful, but you lose all the side quests and you'll be in combat more. Uh, there is a trophy for not killing any of the NPCs, but everything I've read now is recommended for that to be a second playthrough and not your first. So, kind of screwed that up, but oh well. You know me, always trying to be the good guy, so... And also the other problem with not eating people is you're constantly under-leveled. Like right there with the with the nurse that became a vampire, I was way way under leveled for her. So all right, oh, oh, rat, 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 rat. get back over here. I have this thirst for blood. Uh, the meters on the left: uh, green is health, tan is stamina, and red is blood. You can spend experience to upgrade those. All right. So, uh, the symbol next to the enemies, that's what they have resistance to. These people are, guns don't work well on them. And just like vampires, 
Uh, you don't like fire. Uh, if you take fire damage, it will lower the maximum health. Uh, sometimes it is a little weird that... <laughs> sometimes it's a little weird. People will just walk away. Like I said, this game is European. Ah, it's a little janky, but I'm having a good time with it. It is very popular. I, I hit dodge. We have sold out of it twice at, uh, at GameStop, at my local GameStop. All right. So triangle is your stun attack. I haven't been doing that. If you stun them enough, you can then bite them to gain back health and blood. But it doesn't do damage. I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, let's see here. Circles dodge. Square is normal attack. Uh, triangle is offhand weapon. X is like interact, and all the triggers up top are all your vampire abilities. So that's how all that works. And if you see that symbol, that means you can teleport up somewhere. Rats usually mean a uh, safe place. So, when you hear rats in the open world, you should be looking around and see if there's a safe place. Because that will, um, that's where you can rest and spend XP and craft. Crap. <laughs> I like that attack. Oh, shit. Ah, shit. He moved. Oh, crap. A poison, dude. That poison stuff is serious. You can see the little red symbol decreasing my max health. Alright, get over here. Okay. Ah, I thought I teleported around you. Okay. I also have blood shield. Oh crap, he's resistant to blood abilities. Well, that sucks. Alright. How come it's not letting me switch weapons? Oh, because I have this equipped. Alright. Yeah. Okay, we need to unequip... Okay, fine. Let me use my gun. Okay. All right. Now, oh, fuck. He shoots stakes. Alright, he dead. Go to this. My dear sir. 
sister. I don't know if I have the strength. Discreetly attend Mary's funeral. A widow in distress. All right, well, let's go help whoever this is. So if somebody's in distress and you don't ah, damn. If somebody's in distress and you don't rescue them, uh, then they are permanently dead. They've lost their minds in the epidemic. They won't come back for now. You seem to know a lot about them, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm investigating this disease. I am Xiao Shun. Thank you so much for helping me, Mr. Reed. I must go to the cemetery now. Goodbye. Okay, so see here's where uh, when you're talking to an NPC, you can see their blood quality. You can ask for a checkup. Here's to mesmerize check so carnage is father Whitaker's disciple among the this man's far too old to be Samuel no by the look of his clothes this man's a docker Samuel isn't here. I had better follow the blood trail. Okay. It's locked, all right. All right, so... Of course, you know, it's a modern video game, so there is, you know, vampire vision mode. Batman mode. All right, so we gotta follow the blood trail. All right, and see, here's all the side quests. The side quests give you a bunch of, of XP. So. You always want to do those, especially if oh, Rogue Skull, especially if you're doing the no no death playthrough blinker. Ah, fuck. Ah, great! One of these. Crap. Now I'm stuck. Stuck on the geometry. Crap. Oh, fuck.
Dang it. Die. Preaches the good word. Okay. over here. Okay, well... Mercy ring one, hey guys, mercy ring two. This is despicable. Wait, what was... How do I see your comments? Sorry, Mary Beth, I, I didn't quite uh, hear that. Let me... Uh... Turn up the headphones a little bit. Didn't mean to derail your stream. Oh no no no! You're fine. Where? Where is the sky? Oh, he's right there. Another one of these. Fuck. Nope, you dead. Give me your stuff. Brisk blood sample. Haven't seen that one yet. Okay. Parts. Parts always good. New hideout. See? Oh. It's locked, all right. Door won't open from that side. Uh, refill. Yep, refill bullets. Thank you. 
So one nice thing the game does, it refill any extra bullets you find. It automatically goes into that chest. And then um, you can, at a safe house, you can go into that chest and refill. So let's craft one of these. Welcome. Ah, there we go. Oh, it's another stamina one? Dang it, I wanted health or something. So when you find those uh, blood samples, you analyze them. That's how you get new uh, potions to concoct. Uh, I'm not going to rest yet. Anytime you rest, that fast forwards a day. So I'm not going to do that right now. Okay, full on blood, full on health. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. Uh, more. Since I can't reveal myself to my mother now, I must find a discreet spot to attend the ceremony. Okay. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Stick her here in this cold, god awful place. <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> So, Mary Beth, spo uh, extreme spoilers for the beginning of the game if you keep watching right here. <laughs> you may be able to put two and two together, but... Snap. <laughs> Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person. Vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan. And a young Ekon. A newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me. 
and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They this is his sister, by the way, just her as clarification. Shattered, and and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. How is it possible? Tell me. Is it so easy to take a life every night and then just smile and nod at those you spared? Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here. To warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. Okay. Reach St. Mary's Church. All right. All right. We're going to the church. Uh-oh. More blood trails. Chapel Old Road. Okay. What's up here then? Yay, new hideout. Good triggers, yeah. I don't have the good triggers yet. Tiny good handles, okay. Anything else in here? Bullets. Okay. So there's also some of these like boxes of pills and stuff. You can break those down for components for crafting so that's a reason why you want to get that stuff uh, 16 15 <laughs> Fucking 
The only thing about that one attack, it takes a lot of wind up. Ah! Ah! Die, vampire hunters! Quarantine. Uh, level sixteen. Two level sixteens. Uh, I don't have to go there yet, so I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh. And off to church he goes. A newborn seeking divine consent to lick the blood from the soft and pointy crown. Who are you? Make yourself known. Newborn, you reek of guilt and pointless compassion. Shed your skin. Forget your old weaker self. What do you want from me? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Ascalon does not approve of lone wolves who bring unwanted eyes to our pastures. So your name is Ascalon? <laughs> Ascalon's will is vampire law. Learn them, abide by them, or I shall return as your judge and jury. <laughs> These immortals try my patience with their plans and unsolicited counsel. <laughs> Reverend Kane. Of course, he would have resistance to blood. Please, I can't let you through. Stop! Vampire! Ah! Leech fight! Watch out! Oh, shit. Ah, shit. Got to get out of range of the holy cross. Stay back, yep. Oh, fuck. Shit. I'm looking at the wrong person. Tossing the poison. Die. All right. The power of the Lord commands you. Yep. Okay. Okay, he's got a second attack. 
Nope, 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 nope. Oh, okay. Three hit, three hit combo. Crap. Crawl back to the hell and spawn you. Okay, you know what? That's my ultimate. Uh, you don't get that till level ten. So, it has a long recharge time. Did a lot of damage, though. Ah! Damn it! I hate how I get trapped in geometry sometimes. Got him. This man stunned me with his face. His crucifix. This is not good news. Okay, anything else? Nope, okay. Let me keep going. Okay. What is it that you want? I'm sorry to disturb you at such a late hour. No worries, my son. I'm still quite awake, having just returned from a funeral. Yes, I know. I've forgotten what I wanted. I don't know. <laughs> May I help you, child? You seem somewhat perturbed. I haven't the strength to cross the threshold. I wish to pray, to cleanse my soul. The church is shut by order of the bishop, but I'm still the vicar of St. Mary's, if that is any use to you, my son. You seem to me a good soul, vicar, but this is a personal matter. There are no secrets from God, my son. If your heart needs comfort, Consider me your chapel, for I can be as silent as stone. <laughs> I've words for one departed. They're not for living ears to hear. Your eyes burn with rage, yet I see the pain that lies beyond. I am here to lighten the burden of all God's creatures. Whatever you tell me, is between us and the Lord. Very well, priest, as you seem quite adamant. Open your heart, my son. Tell me what burdens you. With whom do you wish to speak? <laughs> she was my sister. You seem so troubled by the loss of this girl. What happened to her? She was... Murdered. I see. And how are you feeling, my son? I feel responsible. The pain is consuming me. I have a final question for you, my son. This is of the utmost importance. Ask your question, Vicar. What words would you like to say to your poor sister? I'm so sorry, Mary. I promise to find who is responsible for all this. I'll put an end to this horror. You have been heard, my son, and your burden will lighten if your words are sincere. Go in peace now and live your life in the way she would have wanted. <laughs> well, okay, that was an interesting loading screen. There. 
I confessed to that vicar. Do I feel better? Only time will tell. Alright, where's... Okay, Father... He's over here somewhere, I think. Isn't this Father Whitaker? Good evening. Yep. It's Father Whittaker, my son. So, are you still lost in your rational delusions? Tobias Whittaker, confess why you burnt those people alive. I have done what no one was ready to do. I will smite the flesh of the unclean to protect the righteous. You are just another heartless murderer, exploiting the epidemic to kill with impunity. No! Roast him. No. <laughs> the only way to contain this I'm trying for that gold trophy, Mary Beth. Don't tempt me. <laughs> You're not the savior of London. You're just a glorified sadist. I take no pleasure in this awful cleansing, Dr. Reed. I am only driven by the thousands of innocents I save each night. Besides, he's level 5. It's way too early for me to be able to mesmerize him. I can't. He, in these areas with NPCs like this, you can't go into open combat. So, and see his mesmerized level is 5. I'm only 2. Why did you send Samuel to the cemetery, Tobias? What uh -huh. did you see there? I sent him on a vision. A dream of a dreadful and laughing queen covered with blood, sleeping with the dead and feeding on the fear of the dying. A laughing queen dressed in blood. Tell me more. This epidemic is her feast, the announcement of her return. Against her, science is no more than a child's toy. But who is she? She is the mother of harlots and abomination of the earth. She is Babylon, drunk on the blood of the saints. Okay, is there... Tell me, Tobias. God, okay, I agree. Fire is just the instinct. Your lack of Your my son. Joseph. Vicar Larrabee of St. Mary. Okay. I already did that. I have found Samuel, your disciple. I am afraid I have bad news. I already expected the worst. He should already have come back. He is dead, isn't he? Yes. He is now. The epidemic took him. Samuel steadily made donations to our cause. He would have rewarded you himself if you'd found me in that awful cemetery. Please accept this money. I have heard enough for tonight. Goodbye. Okay. As you can see, investigation succeeded. All right, let's see here. What other investigations are open? Well, okay, that one's open, but huh? Widow in distress. Okay, well. Let's go back to the hospital. Yeah, there's no fast travel either, so that's one thing that the game gets uh, downgraded for quite a bit in a lot of the reviews. Which can be the answer to all your problems.
cannot enter. Damn it. Oh, oh no, crap. Sucks. Ah, why there always have to be guys here? And Gray, another priest. It takes away all. Ah. Ah. Drop anything sucks. A oh, rogue skull. Is there a lot of side quests? Yes, there. There's quite a few. Uh, those investigations. Those are the side quests. Crap.
die. Okay, so Mary Beth, real quick. The investigations here, come on. These are the side quests. So. Those are the side quests. Uh. Ah! Damn it! Great. War priests. Me blood so I can heal myself. Crap, die. Away with you. Damn it! I forget they resist stakes. Goodbye. Can I get back to the hospital, please? Let's see here, are there any rats? I don't think there's any rats around here. Ferocious. See, I, I, I don't want to deal with that thing yet since it's level 18. Uh oh. Tell me what you are. 
I am the whitened bones and blackened soil. The land made blood coursing through thy veins. What is it you seek? This age is sickly. An ancient poison, an older rage, brewed in a cauldron newly forged. This has something to do with the epidemic. Seek truth, my champion. Defeat the serpent of knowing with iron spur. I've had enough of others making decisions for me, pretending to know how I should feel or behave. So the vampire who made me is some sort of disembodied entity? Or was he just projecting this vision in my mind? <sighs> Maybe Edgar can help me with this one. see here I always screw up trying to get into my little no it's not up there I always screw up trying. There's a ledge up to my um, office, which is my main hub, but I always screw up in trying to get there. God protect us. You've got a leech in the hospital. Uh, yes, my hospital. My mission is to heal while you go about warring. You've set the table for a snake. I wonder why there's venom in your food. I'm growing tired of your song. You're a woodsman, McCallum, not a doctor. Return to your hunt. Remember, I've a good nose for machinations. I can flare the scent at a mile. You can't hide from the god. Leave him, Jonathan. <laughs> this is sacred ground. Neutral territory. And I just had the carpet cleaned. <laughs> By the sacred stole, this is very bad news. Bad news indeed. What happened? The hospital has been attacked. We have injured patients, at least one dead and several missing. This has spiraled out of control. Even the most infirm are asking to be allowed to return home. We cannot have the people lose faith in this institution. This hospital is their only hope. Of course, you're right. But we cannot afford a public scandal. It would ruin us. We must restore order, and quickly. You mentioned a dead patient. Who is he? She, Jonathan. She was Miss Harriet Jones. I found her room like a slaughterhouse. Blood everywhere. The duty nurse is taking care of the mess. Very well. I'll help you. I know this place means something to you. I have noticed how you suppress your appetite when around the staff and patients. You need to know you can trust me, Edgar. I do, dear fellow, I do. Please then, tell me. Sean Hampton, the man we thought we'd saved at the docks. It seems he was infected after all. So Hampton became more beast than man. Exactly. And now guard of Prewen suspects the hospital of vampire activity. Do you realize what that could mean for us? Do you really believe they would come for us here? 
in such a public venue. McCullum is a fanatic. The guard will stop at nothing. You, you don't know what they're capable of, Jonathan. Very well. Since I brought Mr. Hampton here, I will put an end to this. <laughs> All right. So Sean now Hampton we've... lives and breathes for the well-being of his flock. There's no other place he would go but the docks. All right. Well, let's see if there's any more quests now. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. What can you tell me about the recent events in the hospital? That Mr. Hampton killed Miss Jones in her room, then ran away. And did you see all this? No. I was working by the tents when it all happened. I only entered the room when they asked me to clean up the blood. Where is Miss Jones's body? I don't know. I'd imagine the morgue. It all happened so quickly. Did you see Sean Hampton leave the hospital? I think I saw a silhouette exiting the hospital gates after the shouting started. At first I thought it was someone who was just scared, but well, maybe it was him. Uh, I've already done all this. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Okay, I think we've done all that. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Oh, a daily routine. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. Can you tell me anything about recent events at the hospital? Before the shouts and the noises, I think I heard whispers coming from the stairs. Two voices, maybe more. Did you recognize the voices? What did they say? I couldn't hear. Sounded like they were arguing or something. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. Damn! What on earth happened here? <laughs> Lady Ashbury mesmerized level 20. <laughs> All right. Good evening, Miss Halcroft. How are you tonight? I need blood, Doctor. Warm, rich, vibrant blood. Oh yeah, this side quest is pretty cool because this lady's crazy and thinks she's a vampire when she's not. Is there anything you can tell me about the recent commotion here? Many things can happen under cover of night, Doctor Reed. But I took no part in this massacre. But did you see or hear anything? I can't say I did. But the smell of fresh blood almost made me faint, Doctor. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark, to your nocturnal activities. How long is it going to take to fix me properly? A month? A year? You have the right to disapprove of our methods, and you will kindly apologize when you're feeling better. Good evening, Doctor. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? I'm sure it was not your fault, Dr. Reed. My fault? What do you mean? Oh, nothing. It's just... I heard it was you who brought the murderer inside our walls. But you couldn't know, could you? I've already talked to him about that. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. You 
always okay. knew the words to calm the ch Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Please. I heard Miss Jones call for help from her bedroom. There were some loud noises, like people fighting. All of a sudden, it went quiet. And then a nurse started screaming. Do you know who the nurse was? Not sure, but I think it was Nurse Hawkins. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? I heard shouting coming from the first floor. I was asleep when it started. I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Good evening, Doctor. How is my son doing? What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? It's a disgrace. How on earth can patients be attacked in their own rooms? Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. I already the talked to her. What do you mean? She managed... Oh yeah, all right. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Alright, talk to her. If you talk to somebody about a hint the first time, he kind of mesmerizes the mini mesmerizes them into telling the truth. Like the screen will kind of groan and then the conversation will continue. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. All right, that's him. Okay. so lucky to have Dr. Reed, you know. I met him in New York once. If only there were more of us. Less resignation and more determination. Good evening, Matt. Good evening, Doctor. Still trying to save lives. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Someone killed Miss Jones in her room, and Mr. Hampton's gone missing. Doesn't take a genius to piece it together. You don't seem shocked by any of this. Why should I be? Whoever did this must be long gone by now. And besides, he got rid of the old bag. Goodbye, Milton. Oh, Jonathan. I cannot believe my eyes. Poor woman. Butchered by some savage scal. Yes. And I'm afraid I'm at least partially responsible. The man, the scal. I brought him here. Jonathan, how could you say such a thing? Forgive me if I feel despondent, for there seems to be no end to the suffering and death that surrounds us. I'm always here for you, Jonathan. What do you know of Ascalon? I was threatened by a creature, a vampire in Whitechapel, stating I had to obey the law of conduct. What more can you tell me about him? He was bigger than a man. Huge, in fact. He seemed to radiate violence. I thought he was going to tear me apart. Then he vanished. Fergal, the executioner of Ascalon. You were fortunate he was not after you, but rather out doing his master's bidding. What is Ascalon? The Ascalon Club are the most powerful vampires in Britain and exert tremendous influence. 
Take my advice and stay well away. I have experienced a certain difficulty when faced with holy symbols or trying to enter religious buildings. Have you? Now that's quite a question. I don't know why, but yes, it has happened to me. Is this a sign? The hand of God in action? Are we repellent unto heaven? I don't have the answers, Jonathan. But I believe superstition and magic is just fact awaiting the lens of science. Aren't you frightened? Very little scares me, my dear. To be compelled to avoid symbols of faith does not concern me. Have you embraced this woman, like the other patient, this Mr. Renfield? Her name was Amelia. And no, I did not kill her. I vowed a very long time ago that I would never take another life, unless they ask. Is there sufficient vitality in the blood of the sick and dying patients? Yes, Jonathan. The hunger gnaws at me every waking hour. Frankly, I'm starving. Temptation surrounds us. Rich, vital. How can you resist? Over the years, any pleasure I once gleaned from feeding is long gone. I drink for sustenance. And though I still thirst for more, I restrain myself. Thank you, my lady. I hope to see you again soon. Good evening, Dr. Tipp. Dr. Reed, any good news to share? Can you tell me anything about the recent commotion in the hospital? It's a tragedy, pure and simple. The hospital is meant to be a safe haven to all. We failed the people who trusted us with their care. Do you think I should not have brought Mr. Hampton back here? It's not your fault. You rescued that poor soul. It was the Christian thing to do. But we should have noticed his instability. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. It's safer here than anywhere else in the East. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Such a pleasure to see you again. Can you tell me anything about recent events in the hospital? Oh, goodness me. This whole story is such a shame, sir. I have no idea how it happened. What are you talking about? Poor, poor Miss Jones. Her body is missing. Someone stole it. Uh... Miss Jones's body has gone missing? Yes. The body was brought here this morning, and now it's gone. Who could have stolen a corpse? That's exactly what I asked myself for the whole day. Who could do such a thing? These are terrible and shameful times, Dr. Reed. Great. Goodbye, Mr. Chidama. Never ceases to amaze me how you do the dead. Great. So I have to figure out where she's at now. It's locked, all right. Hmm. Yep. 
I wonder if she's somewhere back here. Alright, well. Alright, we'll go this way. Oh, Mary Beth, the XP there, you spend the XP to evolve. When I get back, I'll have so. a word with Tom. He's really pissed me off. That's how that works. Like a Pokemon? It seems the kind of are redoubling their patrols in the district. I must be more careful. It's locked. This looks like something you'll play soon since I finished Detroit in three days. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, I need to... There's six, six chapters to this game, I think. I've written, no, seven. And I'm in the middle of chapter three, so... Goodbye. <sighs> okay. All right, I gotta go. That's why me go this way where the guys are, of course. Obviously, you can kill all the vampire hunters with impunity, but uh, combat doesn't get you as much XP as killing the NPCs. Oh, crap. 
Cannot enter. Ah. <gasps> what is <you> <gasps> ah, of course. Okay, when they're like that, they uh, obviously are in parrying stance, so. Oh, and by the way, this sword is the pre-order bonus that for some reason I didn't get when I picked it up at GameStop. It's available for like three bucks. Highly recommend it. It is... It is insanely powerful and it's upgradable. Oh, crap. It's locked. Ah, oh, it's locked up there too. Okay. There's rats here. This is despicable. I have this thirst for blood. Okay. Yeah, this is the way I need to go. Oh man, that wasn't enough to kill him. the way I need to go. Oh crap, big burly guy. I need some blood.
Yep, and you're going to be next, sucker. Ah, you're resisting. Ah. You're not good against the sword, though. Okay, yep, this way to the pharmacy. Of course. Oh, this dude, I remember this dude. away from him last time. Ah, crap. Uh, he can create a shadow version of himself. Okay, if you're just going to walk away. Ah! That's out of stamina. And dead. of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. Okay. Alright, so... that's done. What time is it? 11.27, okay. <sighs> Alright, I think I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go ahead and go turn in this quest. See if that gets me enough XP to um, level up some here.
Where's the other nurse at? Where's she at? Haven't seen her. It's locked, all right. Strickland, I guess, over here. Oh, here she is, I think. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me? Everybody's afraid. Death has always been a frequent visitor. But murder? How can we cope with that? As a nurse at this hospital, it is your duty to deal with these things as best you can. Yeah. Until it's my turn to have blood spread all over the walls. I entered the room first, Dr. Reed. I've seen what that monster did to the woman. Pepper, are you sure you want to leave this hospital? To become a nurse was a little girl's dream. But in the end, I don't feel that useful. Knows the screen effect there. I want That's more. how you know it's the first time you talked about change. him. You should be proud of what you've achieved. This hospital represents hope for many people in need of help. Maybe you're right, but at the moment, I feel like we're just a cemetery waiting room. What steps are you prepared to take to feel more useful? I don't know yet. My sister believes that the real fight is in the streets nowadays. Maybe she's right. Maybe this is what I must do. And what about Milton Hooks? Does he share your point of view? For Milton, any change means more comfort and more peace. I disagree. If you feel that saving lives is not useful enough, perhaps it means that you've lost faith. On the contrary, my faith has never been stronger. Maybe we are all just too proud to face up to the fact that science cannot compete with God. Everybody as a nerd. Yeah. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Okay. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium, sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. I want to know about these secret tests you run. And if they can save people from this epidemic, speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. Uh... 
You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. Okay. So, let's go upstairs. supposed to gather sodium potassium do I not have sodium hypochlorite No, I have that. I have sodium hypochlorite. Potassium per whatever. Okay, I have that. And then six units of ferrous tartrates. Yeah, I have all that. Missing ingredients. Craft mess. Okay, I don't. All right, I am struggling. Okay, so all right, it's gonna be a sec here. Let's let's take a look at the phone here. Vampire missing ingredients. Yeah, you to make the medicine. Okay, I have. Uh, all 
Alright. Alright. Be unknown antidotes. Okay, that's uh. You have to use a specific table, not the one you... Okay. Oh, the one with all the chemistry equipment. Okay. Strickland's project could be dangerous. I have a mind to report him to Dr. Ackroyd. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it to him. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to you, Dr. Reed. Can I be of any help? I have managed to improve the mixture by diluting it. Have you ever heard of Sir Joseph Francis Olive or the placebo effect? No, I don't think so. Why? A placebo is a substance or procedure that has no actual physical effect. You made a placebo of my project. Why? Research has established that a placebo, as long as the subject believes in the effect, can provoke a positive physiological reaction. Really? That's fascinating. And you want me to, what, administer the placebo and see what occurs? Something like that, yes. Well, I'm a bit surprised, but I trust you, Dr. Reed. Please take the key to my cabinet and put this placebo there for future use. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Put the medication in the doctor's office. All right. So where's Dr. Strickland's office? Swansea. Okay. It's locked. At least Strickland can't kill anyone with this formula. It's locked, all right. It's locked. Uh, yeah, despite the...
Okay. Alright, so new hints available, so... Let's go... Let's go talk to some people here. First, our nurse here. Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening, Doctor. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, Nurse. Yes, Nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK Medical Register. Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Boom. Wow, look how much... 5,000 XP. Okay, we've done that. Done all that. Okay. Call me if you need assistance. Alright, let's talk to... This guy, where'd he go? Oh, there's the snooty doctor. Let's see if the snooty doctor has anything. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the recent commotion in the hospital? Nothing like this would have happened if we'd had enough staff and proper shifts. So you don't think the blame is ours? We all hold fast here, Dr. Reed. Our methods may differ. But we are all trying to make a difference. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Snooty voice. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. How are you? I'm okay. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured, you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Uh... Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? Not in the slightest. If it was up to me, I would have left this place long ago. I know I don't belong here. And why do you think you don't belong here? I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. And there's plenty of patients here who need their attention. How painful is your throat, Mr. Gosman? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. And we already cured that. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. 
Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. Ah! I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. Don't waste your time. All right, me. lady. Good evening. How is my son doing? No. I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my poor Mortimer will be neglected. Ah. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I guess there's more later on. All right. Let's go. All right. I'm going to call it a night here in a sec, but I want to show the XP system here real quick and see if I can level up anything. So any hideout has the bed that's glowing here, and this is how... Good night. Oh, good night, Mary Beth, but hold on a sec. So, like... Okay, so here's the skill tree. And you spend the XP to do, to, you know, upgrade whatever. So, like, and sometimes you have to be a specific level to uh, upgrade it. So. And as you spend XP, the bar on the right here fills up. And when it fills up, that's when you go up a level. So it'd be a thousand XP to get more health. Okay. So level 13. Uh, I can increase that again. It seems Mary Beth is the only view who matters. Uh, sorry, I, I, uh, I don't have, uh, who else is in here. How do I see who's in here? Oh, Scott. Sorry, I didn't know it was, uh, didn't know it was you in here. <laughs> Uh Okay. All right. So uh I don't know if I want uh -huh. Let's go ahead. Yeah, I have enough. And confirm the changes. Oh my gosh, are you flipping kidding me? What the hell? The prices and stocks of the merchants in this district may have changed. Great. Everybody's sick. Oh, it's all fatigue. 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 
Fatigue. Ah. Rip. Okay, that stayed because I haven't been there much. Okay, that stayed. <laughs> I haven't screwed up anything else there. Migraine. Here's this lady. Still haven't figured out anything about her. Got to give your employees more than a one five minute break. <laughs> right? Oh, investigation updated. Convince her to go back to Whitechapel. Okay. So over here, I have to tell her to go back to Whitechapel. And then there's a level 24 that I have to kill. Which I can't do yet. And there's the main quest. And then there's the whole other area that I haven't been to yet. Okay. Well, it looks like I'm going that way. Because if I don't tell her to leave, she'll die in the graveyard the next night. So, I guess that's where I am headed next time when we continue with Chapter 3 of Vampire. Thanks for watching, everybody. Check out Checkmate Arcade on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and Stitcher Radio. Peace out, everybody.